Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 more studio tweaks that are compatible with iOS 11.3.1. I hope you guys enjoy them and let's get started. Home bar sizer is another tweak exclusive to the iPhone 10. It allows you to resize the home bar on the iPhone 10. So you enable the tweak right here and then you can set the size of the bar with the slider right here. And you can also change the height of the home bar with this other slider. So you can see right here, the smaller like home bar size right here, it looks very nice and it doesn't take as much space as the bigger one. Sway, this tweak allows you to change the font of the text on the status bar of the iPhone 10. You can see right there, the font of the clock is way different than the stock one. So the settings of this tweaks are here, you enable the tweak, and then here all you have to do is just enter the name of the font. Now to find fonts, you need to go to, to Google and just Google UI font names and it will show you a list of the fonts and their names. Just copy the name, paste it right here and respring your device and you're good to go. App delete is a pretty cool and very useful tweak that allows you to disable the delete button for any of the apps that you have on your device. You can see right here, the Electro app doesn't have an X button to delete it. So that's pretty awesome and very useful as well. You go to the settings of this tweak, go to applications, and here we'll have a list of all of your apps. All you have to do here is just choose for which app you want to disable the X button and just enable them right here. Natural Delete Dismiss. This tweak allows you to easily dismiss the edit mode right here when you want to delete an app or rearrange them. All you have to do is just tap anywhere on the screen. As you can see, it will dismiss it. You don't need to swipe up here on the iPhone 10 or click done or tap the home button on all the devices. Just tap anywhere on the home screen. Take Me Home 10. This is a very useful tweak for the iPhone 10. What it does is that it do directly unlock your device once it recognizes your face. Now normally once it does that you will need then to swipe up to go ahead and unlock your device with this tweak installed. That step will be removed so no, now all you have to do is just for the iPhone to recognize your face and it will take you directly to your home screen. Power Module. This tweak will add some power options to the control center of your iOS 11.3.1 device. So once you install the tweak, you need to go to settings, go to control center, go to customize control center and enable the power module. And then from here, once you go to the control center of your device, you okay. So I'm used to the iPhone 10 right there. So you can see right here, this is the power module and you will have a few options right here. So you have a respring, clean the UI cache, safe mode, reboot, power down, and also lock screen. So you have six power options right here on the control center of your device. You can see a tab right there and you can lock your device. Advanced status time. This tweak will allow you to change the format of the clock on the status bar. You can see right there, I have the hours, the minutes, also the seconds. So you can do that from the settings of this tweak, you enable it here and then go ahead and add your configuration right here. So you have here a format cheat sheet where you can find like different formats, different clock formats, just copy them, enter them here and then apply them to your device. Locus. This is a very useful tweak. It allows you to enable location services for any apps that you want. So you don't have to enable it for all the apps. Just go here, enable the tweak, and then go ahead and select applications. So if you enable one of these apps, then location services will be enabled for that app that you have enabled here. So once you open that app, location services will be enabled once you go out of that app, it will be disabled. So that's very convenient, very useful as well. So just go ahead and enable any apps where you want to have location services turned on. Latest, this is a tweak for the keyboard. It allows you to change the color of the keyboard. You can see right here, I have a red keyboard and you can basically change that to any color that you want simply by going to the settings of this tweak, enable it here, and then you can use a custom color for the background of the keyboard as well as for the text. So you just go ahead here, pick the color for the background and the color for the text. Also, you can use true black. This is very awesome. If you have an iPhone 10 that has the new OLED display, you can use a true black keyboard on your iPhone. 
Iconizer. This tweak allows you to customize the look of the icons on the home screen of your device. As you can see, you can resize them just like that. You can also change the color of the labels. You can change the transparency. You can change the color of the folder background of the folder icon right there. So basically, it's very powerful and it allows you to basically customize every section of the icons on the home screen. So you enable the tweak right here, then you have here icon, you can add a shadow, you can add animations, here you can change the transparency, the size, you can also rotate them, you can change their position, it's pretty awesome. Then you have the icon image right here, you can set a border, you can set a glow around the icon, very awesome and then you have the label right here you can change the color of the labels you can also add animation change the size of the labels and also the position as you can see it's very powerful here we have some extras as well as well it's very powerful it allows you to customize a lot regarding the icons of your ios 11.3.1 device scrollers this is a very useful tweak that will enhance a feature that is already on iOS. You know, on iOS, if you're like scrolling on a web page or anywhere, you can tap the status bar to go to the top just like that, very easy. But now with this tweak installed, you can tap the right side of the status bar to go down, all the way down, just like this. So tap left, go up, tap right, go all the way down. Very useful, very convenient having that feature. Slide cut will add some very useful features to the keyboard of your device. You can easily copy, paste or cut text. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is just hold the space bar and swipe to the X right here. You can see it will cut that text. I want to paste it, just hold the space bar and swipe here to the V and you can see it will paste the text. If you go to Cydia and go to the page of this tweak slide cut, you will find there all the shortcuts that you can perform using this tweak. Little X, this tweak will bring an iPhone 10 like UI to all their devices. As you can see right here, I can swipe here at the home to go to the app switcher or the control center is up here instead of down here. So it's pretty awesome. Basically the complete UI, the gestures, everything from the iPhone 10, you can see swiping here to go to the app switcher, everything will be ported to all their devices. So you have here the settings, you have status bar, home bar, larger keyboard, iPad dock. Also you have here app cards like hold to kill like on the iPhone 10 or just swipe them up to kill. So it's really easy to close apps. So you can see right here, pretty awesome. All you have to do is just go here and swipe up to kill the apps. Border icon plus, this tweak will turn all of your icons into circles also it will add a border around them you can see this red border around the icons if you go to the settings of this tweak you will have that enable button for the border of the icons then you can do the same for the folders and the badges as well and here we'll have the color you go ahead and pick any color you want for the border right here tab count this tweak will show you how many tabs you have opened on the safari app you can see right there it shows a little number now that's a bit off right there on the image you can see it should be right there where the tab icon is but this tweak hasn't been updated for ios 11.3.1 so that's why it's a little bit off right there but it still works you can still see the number of tabs that you have opened on safari auto shift fix you know when you have a text like this you can see that capitalized letter if you go ahead and delete that it will automatically turn on the shift button so when you tap another letter it will also be capitalized this tweak will fix that so you delete a capitalized letter and you go ahead and tap it will just tap a normal lowercase letter Bouncy 10 is a tweak that will add these nice animations when you go through pages or you open an app or something like that. So you can see here this bounce animation when it shows like pop-ups, you go through different pages and stuff like that. It looks pretty awesome. So you enable the tweak right here and then you can set the bounciness using these sliders right here. Hide app menu. This tweak will hide the long list of apps that you have on the settings app. So when you go to settings, normally here we'll have a long list of all the apps that you have installed on your device. With this tweak, you can completely hide them. All you need to do is just install the tweak, nothing else. One more time allows you to have two different clocks 
right here on the status bar of your device. So you enable the tweak right here, then go ahead and choose the time difference in hours here and then in minutes between the two clocks. It's very easy to use. So just go ahead and set the time difference and we have some extra settings right here. You can use a 12 hour clock uppercase am pm and also you can reverse the clocks unicode faces this tweak will bring unicode faces to your keyboard it's very easy to use all you have to do is just use the gesture that you have set to to invoke it and then you will have a list of unicode faces right here and just tap on one of them to enter it it's pretty awesome and very convenient having them right there on your keyboard so you go to the settings of this tweak and here we'll have two different options to activate it. You just select the one you want. And then you have here manage Unicode faces. So if you go here, you can rearrange them. You can delete any of them directly from here. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 20 city tweaks that are compatible with iOS 11.3.1. And most of them, if not all, are also compatible with iOS 11.4 beta 3 if you have one of those devices jailbroken so that is it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next one